Hi everybody, this is Juliana. Uh, today I want to share with you guys this project that I created for Suha Fuha Etsy store. I'm so super excited to be designing for her and have the opportunity. So I wanted to share with you guys this shabby chic looking sign that I made using some of her gorgeous trims and laces. And if you haven't checked out her Etsy store, I'll put the link below. But she just has amazing trims, you guys. Very awesome unique trim so um, I will put the link below and I will share with you guys some of the trims I use for this sign so let's see first I'll start here on the top I think um, I got a couple of the Melissa Francis hangers a while back I absolutely love them because it's a really great way to display your handmade signs and you know just hooks in here on the top and you just hang it up on the wall and it looks great so um, all I did for this one is I, I kept it pretty simple so I just added some um, seam binding I just made a little bow on the top and I had created this sign a little bit ago I have a video on this one, but this one is a little bit more vintage. And here's another um, hanging sign that I used here. And for this one, I just added some more laces and stuff. But it's another one of the Melissa Francis hangers. So, um, just another idea. Now, I'll put the link below of this sign I made um, if you guys haven't seen it yet. So, but this is um, the one I created. And again, I used um, some. A corrugated board for this one too just like I did the other one and uh, it's just a regular piece of cardboard so I even left the back really ugly so you guys could see that's what it looks like so I rip off you know the top layer so then that way you could see the corrugated board onto the top and um, I didn't paint it because I wanted you guys to see it but anyways I'm probably gonna have to paint it white um, but the size is pretty large. I totally forgot it measured, but I'll put it on the description below. And um, what I did first is I just painted it all white. So you could see some of the paint. And then um, I added a bunch of modeling paste, also known as texture paste. And some of the pieces are kind of like coming off. But anyways, I added a bunch of modeling paste around it. So there's a lot of like different textures that you see in there tucked in. And then um, I also added this wallpaper. This is actually wallpaper, you guys. I had purchased this wallpaper at a vintage shop, and it was so cool because it has like that cool like um, background texture already in it, and it's kind of like very shabby looking. I just absolutely love it. So I added that on the back, and then this little um, frame here I had purchased at the thrift store last year, I believe, and. It's made out of like plastic or something and it used to be gold. So all I did is I just painted it with um, like this vintage white acrylic paint all over it because I didn't want it to be gold. And then oh, it already had this image of these two beautiful little angels inside. So that was like the main focus. And here you can see a butterfly applique from Suha Fuha Etsy store really gorgeous detail butterfly i absolutely love it so i added that here on the left and um, this is one of the prima little resin pieces that i added on the top and then um, around the corners i tuck in some regular uh, lace fabric like underneath and then i use two trims two colors from suha fuha's etsy i use this one so all I did here is I cut one of the little flowers and then I cut it in half. So you could see just half of it, half of it there. And then the other one I use is this one too. And it's absolutely stunning. I love this color so, so much. This one is like a really nice vintage pink. So again, I just cut half of it. So it's like half and half because it's kind of tucking underneath the wallpaper. So I did that pretty much in each corner of the sign. Here's another side and the bottom side as well and more of the lace trim. And then uh, here I decided to make a handmade flower. So I used the same lace fabric to kind of layer my handmade flower underneath. And then I cut out three of these flowers from the trim. And then one of this one. 
so you all you do is you uh, glue these three together like this and then you add the one in the center whatever color you choose and then I added this beautiful charm from Suha Fuha's Etsy store as well it's absolutely stunning and I think she sells this in sets of two or three I'm not quite sure but um, it's really really beautiful and it makes a great uh, flower centerpiece um, then I wanted it to be a little bit more soft so I did tuck in some cheesecloth and that's what you see there, like the little fussiness, it's like cheesecloth. And um, I also use this beautiful Venice trim from her store as well. It has like this cute like little bows. And when the sign is hanging on the wall, this kind of moves. So it adds a lot of movement to the sign, which is pretty cool. So love, love that. And then um, here I added some vintage buttons just from my stash that I've been kind of collecting. So that is pretty much the sign, you guys. This is what it looks like from far away here with the hanger. And so it's kind of sunny and um, my little kitty is in there, you guys. Look at him, or her, I guess. Her name is Cookie. Say hi. It's my little kitty, but anyways, <laughs> that's what you see there. Um, but yeah, this is the sign. I hope you guys like it. I will put the link of her store below. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching again. And please be sure to check out her store. Um, I'll be sharing with you guys a couple of more projects for her. So I'll be seeing you all soon. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.